Hey guys, I've been watching all these Australian guys on YouTube making traditional Australian bush bread and they call it Dampa and it took me uh, a few videos to get interested in making my own and I may try to make some out while we're camping but I figured I'd start here. So I took uh, a couple different uh, recipes that I watched and I'm going to try to throw something together. So I'm going to make a, uh, a dampa that has cheese in it and I have some brie. So I'm going to take about half of this. I was going to do a round piece of brie but I couldn't get a hold of one so I'm just going to put this in the middle of the dampa and cook it. And the kids are going to eat this right now. A dampa is a really simple kind of bread made mostly with flour. So the first thing I'm going to do is three cups of flour. Um, Self-rising flour is preferred, but I don't have that, so I'm going to add some baking powder. And you want to get a nice kind of dough out of that. So there's my three cups of flour. Now I'm going to do a uh, teaspoon of baking powder. I'm going to do a quarter teaspoon of salt. Maybe a little extra. All right, now I'm going to mix these dry ingredients together. Now to add liquid. So some people add water, and I'm going to add beer. I've got this nice pills. All the Australians are using like some of their gold beer, so I figure this will work pretty good. So I'm going to do about a half cup of beer. And I'm going to pour that right into the middle. Okay, now I'm going to, I added some beer in there and some people put eggs and some people don't, but I have an enormous amount of eggs. So I'm gonna go ahead and put an egg in here. A bunch of butter. So you need about a third cup of butter. Uh, so I'm gonna put about a third cup of butter in there. And now you get to kneading that with your hands. Get that all mixed around. But I might even need a little more beer. I forgot one of the things that I was going to put in there is a little bit of olives and I was going to mix that right in with the dough. So I'll put a little bit of olives and the more you like olives the better but I think that probably goes pretty good with the with the brie so I'm just going to fold those olives in. stickier, a little too sticky, so I add a little more flour, and now I'm going to put this, put this brie right in the middle. I have this little Dutch oven here for home use, so I'm going to put a little flour in the bottom. Some people do oil and some people do flour, but that'll just keep it from sticking on the bottom. And I got my oven at 400. I'm going to put the damper right in there. Check that out. Now I'm going to cook that for 30 minutes, just like that. Okay, now we're going to check the damper. It's been cooking for a little over 30 minutes. And it still, still looks a little doughy. I think we're going to leave it in there for a while. What do you think? So we had it in there for an hour instead of 30 minutes. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, there, oh, there you go. 
Yeah. Got a couple slices of it and see what it looks like in there. Oh yeah, we got a little. Not as gooey as the one. Not as gooey. <laughs> not as gooey. Gooey as the Australian guy's damper. that we used didn't kind of get as ooey and gooey and it took us about an hour to get to where we had the nice crusty top but you put a little butter on there and mm. it is really good it's a lot like a biscuit the recipes that I've seen they go everywhere from sugar to different kinds of fruits and vegetables so really I think the kind of the idea is a simple bread and you can mix whatever you have in it and it's a pretty hearty meal so the damper turned out pretty good we know how to do it takes a bit a little bit longer um probably closer to an hour and, unless you have that campfire which is a little hotter and uh it's pretty good stuff and it doesn't really cost much to make it so uh go out and try to make a damper